All right, so in this problem, we have three sequences, and through pattern recognition, we want to figure out what our fourth sequence should look like. So let's start out by comparing our first sequence to our second one. And let's let we can tell already that our arrows are shifting in position. So let's try to figure out how and in what pattern. So let's take our first arrow here, and we can and if we look at at this arrow here compared to our second to our second arrow in the second sequence, we can tell that it moved to this place. And if we take another arrow and we see that we take this arrow and we find it in our second sequence, it's moved to here. So if we try to recognize some kind of pattern, we can tell that the arrows are moving in the direction that they're pointing. So let's look at our third sequence and see how it should affect our fourth one. So if we have this arrow over here, that is pointing down to the next corner, it should be in this position over here. And if we take, let's say, this arrow over here, it should be moving uh, diagonally to the right-hand corner of the triangle, meaning that it should be somewhere over here. And let's continue this pattern. We have this arrow here that is moving either to the left or to the right. And because it's already on the right-hand side, we're going to move it to the left-hand side. And we have our last arrow over here that is moving downward, so it should be somewhere over here. Now, if we look at all of our green arrows, we can tell that C matches our figure the best, matches our sequence the best, and C is the right answer.